Listen, it's quite simple. Press the free like button if you think that Chris Jericho is a sleazeball in a dirt bag in a creep for what he did to Kylie Ray. I'm like, man, I would never look at Chris Jericho ever the same ever again based on him being a creep and a sleazy ass dude. Listen, I think people know about this channel when it comes to, I really don't make videos like this in terms of what a guy has been accused of when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, sexual harassment and all that bullshit. I try to stay away from that kind of content, right? I don't want this to be some kind of drama channel. But the only reason that I'm making this video is because not what Jericho is accused of, but the hypocrisy of what Chris Jericho is accused of. How can Tony Khan lie? He is a fucking liar. How can you not know why Kylie Ray left? Come on, man, you ain't that dumb. How can you be that fucking stupid? We all know why she left. She left because Chris Jericho is a creepo. He is a sleaze bag. Um, yeah, that is weird behavior. This dude, he invited his girl to a room. She thought there was gonna be people in that room and it was all a hoax. This dude wanted her all, this dude wanted her all to himself. I'm like, bro, that's weird, man. That is, bro, you are Chris Jericho. If you wanna ask her out or hit on her, you ain't gotta go down to that level. I'm like, that's weird creepo behavior. Especially as a married man. I'm like, bro, if you wanna hit on her, just hit on her, but don't, don't trick her. Don't, you know, put her in an uncomfortable position. Like, that's weird, man. I'm like, yeah, Jericho, you're a legend, but it felt like he was trying to use his legendary name as power, as leverage. That's what he was doing. He was using his name as leverage. He felt like, you know what? Hey, I'm Chris Jericho. Her ass should be glad to be in the same room as an icon like me. That's how it came across. But it's like, man, Tony Khan, man, this makes him look hella bad. It's like, you fucking hypocrite. You knew Jericho was doing this to these females. And I'm hearing it's more females, probably. But, bro, this dude cost you Kylie Ray. I feel like Kylie Ray could have been a great addition to your roster. But she left because of Chris Jericho is a sleazeball creepo. But you, you fucking slipped under the rug like you don't give a fuck. So you chose Jericho over her, over a young, upcoming talent. You used Jericho for his name because all elite fake wrestling was on a come up. So you used Jericho's name to further your company and to further your bottom line. So you chose Jericho over her. But bro, this is sleaze ball behavior that you swept under the fucking rug, man. It's like, you are no better than Vince McMahon, the guy that damn near a couple of months ago, you threw under the bus saying, oh, what about Vince McMahon's alleged misdeeds? Ooh, hold on, con man. Hold on, Tony Con man. What about Chris Jericho's alleged misdeeds, you stupid dumb bitch? My God. So both guys are fucking hypocrites. I mean, you better, you better not say Vince McMahon's name ever in your life. Keep this man's name out your fucking mouth, you fucking Mark Nerd sleazeball. I'm talking about Tony Khan, man. I feel like they are both sleazy ass dudes. Like you, you knew. You knew Jericho was a fucking creepo. He cost you a young upcoming talent. So man, you protected Chris Jericho for all these years. You was trashing this man for his misdeeds, but Jericho was doing the same thing that Vince McMahon was doing. But hey, at least, at least Vince was paying his women <laughs> to keep quiet, right? At least Vince was paying these women. Yo ass, I'm hearing this dude made his alleged women sign NDAs. The same Jericho that said, hey, I never signed an NDA in my life. But I'm hearing he made other women, alleged women, sign NDAs. I'm like, hold on, Jericho, come on, man. This story is about to ruin his legacy based on CM Junk, based on him throwing CM Junk under the bus. Wow, that's crazy. CM Junk was viewed as a locker room cancer. That's what Jericho said. He called him a cancer. I'm like, bro, <laughs> at least CM Junk didn't call you female talent. At least CM Junk didn't call women to his room under false pretenses. That's wild, man. I'm sorry, but I would never look at Jericho the same ever, ever again. Um, this story, this has burned a bridge with him possibly going back to the World Wrestling Federation. I can't see Triple H bringing this guy back ever. This is weird stuff. To, man, this is like classic manipulation. 
on what he did to Kylie Ray. I heard, man, this shit was scarred to a point where she left because of him. That's, that's wild. And Tony Khan, man, no. You can't tell me Tony Khan, man, did not know why she left. Nobody leaves a fresh new company right off the bat in year one. Especially when they are trying to build that division around you and Miss Baker. But, wow. So, all these months, Cobb has been trashing Vince. But, bro, you protected a known predator. That's wild. So, let's be real. Chris Jericho is a low-key sexual predator that Tony Cobb, man, defended and kept on the roster. So, wow. I already made a video on why it was weird that he signed Ric Flair. So, wow. So, you signed Ric Flair and you kept quiet about Chris Jericho and kept pushing him. And you knew what he did to some of your female talent. Hey, from what I'm hearing, I heard that the females on that roster, they loved CM Junk. That's what I heard. That's the irony of it. That's the weird irony of it, man. That's irony. All the women on the roster, I heard they loved CM Junk. But when it comes to Jericho, man, I heard that he's not a well-liked guy in that locker room. That's what I heard. Alleged, but that's what I heard. Man, it's crazy. The only time we talk about all elite fake wrestling is when they got some kind of drama. This is weird, man. Even with the World Wrestling Federation, there's never this much drama. It's like, bro, we talk about what goes on in the ring. It shouldn't get to a point where the only time we are entertained with all elite fake wrestling is when it's something in the fucking locker room backstage. That makes no sense. But hey, y'all got no excuse. You can't blame anything on CM Junk. He's gone. But this makes Tony Khan man look bad. So you sign Ric Flair knowing, bro, dark side of the ring, dude, the plane ride from hell. And you signed him. And now there's a ports that you kept Chris Jericho on, on the fucking roster knowing that he did these things. And you knew. You fucking hypocrite. All these years, dog. All these years you was trying to trash and throw Vince man under the bus. Knowing that you was defending Chris Jericho by keeping him on the roster. Knowing that he is the reason why Kylie Ray left. But this is old news, though. This ain't new. This is old ass news. Everybody knew why Kylie Ray left. It was because of what Chris Jericho did to her. He scarred her for life. That, bro, that's what I think. He scarred her for life. That was his weird behavior, man. You're going to invite this girl to your room. She, she don't know what's going on. And you was trying to get some. That's wild, man. As a married man, that's weird. You are married, dog. But this makes Tony Khan, man, look just as bad. Look just as bad, dude. Fuck. Because, man, Khan, man, how can, how can you not know why Kali Ray left? How can you not know? But he knew... And he still kept Jericho around like nothing was wrong. So, man, you chose a legend, a guy with a big name, to help out your bottom line. You said, you know what? I will sweep this under the rug because Jericho is a big name that I need right now. I can't afford to fire him. I can't afford it. I got to keep him so all elite effect wrestling can get better. I need him. So I'm going to choose him over Kylie Ray. You know what, Kylie? I will let you walk away. That's what he did. He chose Jericho over her. It's like, man, Conman is just as bad as Ric Flair, Jericho, Vince McMahon. Dog, you were just as bad. You were a enabler. It was weird why the moment Kylie Ray left and she was connected with Chris Jericho, it felt like that story it just went away after maybe two weeks. It just went away. The question is, why did this story go away so quickly? Who did that? I'm telling you, it had to have been Tony Conman to pay people off to keep this story quiet because because it might ruin all elite wrestling at that time that's what i think the fact that i think common has been chris jericho's protector all these years it just makes both guys look bad on an equal level so i feel like this vindicates cm junk the same man that jericho called a locker room cancer i'm like bro like I said, man, CM Chuck was not the one over calling a girl to his room under false pretenses. as a creepo. Okay? CM Chuck, he's called Chick Magnet for a reason. He don't gotta do that. Women love CM Chuck. But the point is, 
I would never look at Chris Jericho the same ever, ever again. Just like Dale Bryan. It's like, man, it's like there's so many legends that are just, man, their reps have been going down ever since signing with all Elite Fake Wrestling. Now we know Chris Jericho, he is a sleazeball creepo, and Dale Bryan is a fucking snitch. It's like, man, it's like our heroes have been brought down ever since going to all Elite Fake Wrestling, man. It's, it's not good. And it's all Tony Khan's fault, man. Why would you make Dale Bryan a locker room snitch? And now you are protecting Chris Jericho all these years, knowing he's the reason why Kali Ray left your company, man. Now, I'm sure eventually Chris Jericho will be on leave for a further investigation. I think that's what's gonna happen. But bro, there's nothing to investigate. He did it, okay? There's no lies being told on what I said. He did it. He did put Kali Ray in an awkward situation. He did make her feel uncomfortable. He is the reason why she's gone from that company. As facts on facts, he is why she left. So what should Tony Khan do with Chris Jericho? If these accusations are true, even though they are true, come on, man. Um, would I fire him? It's like, man, you, I'm sorry, I would fire him. Because bruh, you put this woman in a awkward situation. Look, listen, she was a coworker at the end of the day. At the end of the day, she was a coworker and you gave off weird sexual advances to another coworker. It's like, bro, that has to be against some kind of policy. So that's what I mean. I think Jericho should be fired for this. Why? Because he, he did it. <laughs> he did it. There's no alleged. Kylie Ray has confirmed he did that shit. So I'm like, you can't keep him on your roster anymore because we know too much. We know too much. How can we ever cheer Chris Jericho? It's like, this is awkward. Now it's out. It's like, how can you keep him? Like I said, I'll fire him based on, bruh, you cost this chick her job, right? I feel like you affected her way of living. I feel like if she would stay with all Elite Wrestling, this chick could have been a star, right? So, bruh, you affected her money based on you being a fucking creepo. So, yes, I will fire him because, bruh, you, your actions cost me talent. So, yes, what he did hurt the company what he did hurt the women's division in the future so yes this was a co-worker and yes like i feel like jericho should be fired because you cannot keep him around because bruh come in you can't cast stones you can't throw stones from a fucking glass house if you keep him bro you are just as bad as your big bad boogeyman visit man right People know that's Tony Cobman's big bad boogeyman, Vince McMahon. Listen, if Cobman wants to earn points back, I would say fire Chris Jericho. Because if not, bro, you are just as bad as your big bad boogeyman, Vince McMahon, who you keep on calling out for his alleged misdeeds that you said on a tweet. So, bro, that's going to come back to bite you in your fucking ass, man. You said, what about Vince McMahon's alleged misdeeds? Okay, what, what about Chris Jericho's alleged misdeeds? That guy is on your roster, you dumb bitch. Okay. Keep that same energy. It's like you knew Jericho did these things, you dumbass nerd bitch. Fuck, man. So yes, I would fire Chris Jericho to earn me more points because I feel like, man, Con Man, his rep is about to go down if he keeps Jericho on this roster. You gotta do something. Don't fucking suspend him. You gotta fire him. You, you gotta set a bar because you look like a sexual predator's protector all these years. You knew what Jericho did and you ain't do a damn thing about it. That's it. I'm done.